day six of the Velomobile build. Um, past three days we've been in here. We've been remaking fork tubes since uh, I can't weld. And I actually talked to a professional who's told me that my welder, the flux core, was um, too much for this steel. So today I had one of my uh, family friends come in and professionally weld our uh, fork tubes with a big MIG welder. Came out really nice. Definitely trust these. So first part, fork tubes officially done. And so we're going to be making more and more parts. And next week he's going to come in again and weld them for us. Um, and hopefully within a couple weeks we should have the frame of the bike done. And then after that we can start on the fiberglassing. And here's the bracket we got out of it for their rear dropouts. So I gotta Send it down. grind that down to the line. And then we'll have one of the rear brackets. And then we'll keep going. This is what we came out with after that grinding. Much better. These are going to mount the rear wheels. It's still day six of the Velomobile build. I showed you before, we finished the these, except for the end caps, which we'll do later. Um, we also finished this seat tube. Um, we're just, right now we're just fitting it to see about how big it'd be. So we cut those angles in there. And then 45 degree fit down and we're trying to get an idea of the length right now which is why it's set up like this and we figured it's going to be about nine foot two yeah nine feet two inches long so this is just the inside of the frame and just trying to get an idea of how big the uh, shell is going to be and as you can see let's show you a diagram here frame's going to be risen up a little bit and there's like a couple of angles in there which I haven't made yet because we do not have this rear wheel but as you can see there's rear forks goes down and rear forks goes down and then pieces. this these are two different pieces that's the piece which is right there and the piece we just took off is that one and that one is definitely longer than 24 inches it's actually 44 inches to serve as a mounting point for the fiberglass frame, so it's much longer, it's probably about out there. But it is coming together, and we'll have the entire main portion of the frame welded by next week. And then we can start on the steering and other portions of the trike. And possibly the other bikes. And maybe even start the other bikes, says Dan Kowalski. Dan, are you just trying to weld that on there? Yeah. That's Dan Kowalski. Hard at work doing nothing. Good job, Dan. Keep it up. Okay. You tell that steel who's boss. He's welding. Close call when I was cutting out that bracket. I cut it, cut my glove, freaked out, looked at it, I thought this was blood, but it's actually just the inside lining of the glove. That's why I wear gloves. We haven't drilled the holes yet though, because we don't know how big 